Hi, my name's Hal Williams. I chose China Ocean Shipping Company, Costco, for my presentation, uh, Asia's largest shipping line organisation. It was founded in 1961 and is a shipping line as well as a logistics company. It's actually the third largest in the world as of 2018. It was the fourth largest for a long time. But um, currently sitting in third place, but that's and that's regarding market share, uh, number of vessels, and container volume. It currently operates three hundred ninety three container vessels, and operates domestically in parts of Asia as well as lots of international um, corridors. The organisational structure, as you can see here, is um, it's quite complicated, which is typical for a liner organisation, as compared to a tramp shipping company, which they're usually quite simple um, in structure. Yeah, it follows your typical uh, modern corporate organisational structure with the general manager and the board of directors above, above it. It's also got uh, 26 divisions and four committees, as you can see in this figure. Yeah, there's just some more information about the organisational structure there. It's yeah, quite complicated, which, as I said before, pretty typical of the um, of the liner sector. Regarding the network of coverage, um, the Trans Pacific corridor is um, is one which uh, Costco travels the most on, offers a service on that the most. Um, this is by revenue, but that's also by volume as well. And as you can see, there's a significant increase in revenue by between just 2016 and 2017. So this, this company is definitely growing really quickly, and if not, you know, the fastest liner organisation in regards to growth at the moment. Uh, obviously with shipping networks, um, you know, main objective of the liner organisation is to uh, streamline their networks, um, port coverage, and um, keep transit time to a minimum so they can offer better service to their customers. Yeah, Costco operates on a, a global network, a large global network, covers lots of ports all around the world, um, as well as um, intermodal routes too, especially with rail and trucking. It actually covers 85 countries, 267 ports and 350 routes in total and operates 473 vessels. Uh, these vessels include not just liner vessels though, it's also bulk vessels as well. They do offer a door-to-door -door service as I stated with the intermodal coverage as well. Yeah, in regards to market share, you can see right there on that figure, it's currently sitting in third place. Was sitting at fourth for quite a while, but recently, this year, I think it was in February or March, uh, took over CMA CGM in regards to market share, putting them in fourth place. Yeah, pretty significant growth in a, in a short amount of time. It's actually an increase of 68% regarding TEU, TEU between 2015 and 2018. This is mainly because they, um, they took over double OCL. 
and China shipping container lines also um, withdrew in 2015. This is attributed um, to the just the sheer amount of container volume that passes through Chinese ports as well. It's a significant factor. Uh, the shipping business activities that Costco covers is um, pretty extensive. It offers a lot of integrated freight services um, such as um, containerized FCL and LCL cargo, as well as bulk cargo. Uh, they also have their own ship agency service, which would yeah give them further savings and a bit more of a competitive advantage. Yeah, 10 representative offices in Europe, America, and Southeast Asia. And also, interestingly, a cruise shipping agency. Uh, Costco is also a leading ports operator. They manage and operate their own ports. They're currently um, managing 270 at 35 seaports across the world. Uh, 180 of these are for containerized cargo. They also cover shipbuilding, ship repairing, expediting, custom clearance services and brokerage. Yeah, in regards to logistics strategies, um, in recent years, liner organisations are really beginning to realise the uh, benefits of expanding into logistics. Uh, just allows them to, you know, better satisfy their customers, um, as well as um, increase profitability and, and performance overall of the company. Costco is really aggressively um, expanding their operations into logistics, especially with the One Belt, One Road initiative. They also operate over 150 sea rail container transportation routes, which is pretty significant. Uh, they actually also own their own logistics company, uh, Costco Logistics Co. Limited as well as they also own their own ocean and air cargo services uh, firm. Uh, they also bought out uh, Cogent Holdings in 2017, a Singaporean logistics company, uh, just yeah, further expanding into the logistics sector. The port they acquired in Greece as well, um, has also allowed them to build on the China European Sea Rail Express that they're calling it. Uh, this will see a promotion of Chinese goods and allow further access to European markets. Uh, information technology, really, really important in line of shipping at the moment. Uh, obviously, Costco and many other companies are recognising how important this is. It affects, you know, the overall efficiency of how they operate, um, how they handle containers at berths. It, it all comes back to information technology. They actually own their own IT service company since 1993, so this has been something that they've been interested in. Um, since the start, um, they've also got yeah, also invested a large amount of money in a private fund uh, based solely on um, IT solutions. Now uh, they've also formed alliances with some e-commerce um, companies, sort of expanding into that sector. Uh, despite all um, their advanced IT solutions, they did fall victim to a um, ransomware attack in July 2018. This was pretty bad. It wasn't as bad as uh, Mer the attack on Maersk in 2017, which I think cost Maersk about 300 million um, US. 
And yeah, so that was my presentation on Costco shipping. Thanks for looking.